Elevated triglycerides, also known as blood fats, are associated with a series of health conditions, typically in relation to heart health or obesity. In a recent video, I did a full deep dive into blood cholesterol, wherein I read 13 studies along with another analysis of over 100 studies to find out how a low carbohydrate diet affects our blood cholesterol levels. And I thought to myself, well, why not do the same for triglycerides? Learn Your Body, a science-based education. Unlike the other video, the evidence is far more one-sided and we can make some strong, definitive conclusions. But even so, if new evidence emerges to contrast, you can expect a link to an updated video. So if you don't see one attached, then this is the most current. In this video, we'll discuss the evidence. I'll separate out the evidence for men and women. We'll discuss the physiological mechanisms, and then we'll round it out with an overall conclusion that we'll take away. Briefly, if you aren't familiar with triglycerides, they're a two-part fat molecule, meaning they have one part called the glycerol, which is commonly called the backbone, which then holds onto three fatty acids, the second part of the total fat molecule. Triglycerides come from the intestines when we eat fat, as we'll discuss in a little while, but they're primarily stored in our fat cells and can be released into our bloodstream. They can be used for all kinds of reasons, from the generation of energy to the creation of cells to signaling within and between cells. Honestly, far too much to cover for uh, what I can provide here, but stick around and we'll cover more in the future. Now, that bit of background out of the way, let's discuss the science. Looking at the first 13 studies, there is a strong trend that can easily be detected. Although a few studies show varying results, overall the effect of a low carbohydrate diet defined as definitely less than 15% carbohydrates, but in most cases being lower than 10% or even 5% carbohydrates, is a reduction in triglycerides. One study analyzed showed an increase in triglyceride levels, and three studies showed no change in blood triglycerides. Yet all remaining studies, nine in total, showed a distinct, strong effect downward. Now, there are a few key factors to take into consideration. First, weight loss, because it seems that weight loss likely increases this effect, meaning there is a pretty consistent reduction in blood triglycerides with a low carbohydrate nutrition. But weight loss makes the effect more pronounced. Second, the type of fat consumed. While in previous content I discussed how saturated fat may lead to changes in blood health markers that are not seen under other conditions, it seems saturated fat had no noticeable effect here. So, regardless of the fat type making up the high fat portion of the low carb diet, a low carb nutrition reduces triglycerides, according to most studies. Now, Comparing between men and women, there is a consistent reduction in triglycerides across several studies for men, but a bit more ambiguous for women, with one study showing an increase, one study showing no change, and three studies showing a decline. Some of the researchers pointed out it's possible there is a sex-specific distinction, but the evidence doesn't seem to bear that out. Although it's possible that women are more sensitive to weight changes in fat types than men, or there were methodology issues with these few studies. Generally, the trend is still that a low-carb diet lowers triglyceride levels. That gives us an understanding based on the 13 individual studies that I analyzed in depth. But as I mentioned, there was also a separate meta-analysis wherein a group of researchers looked at the data across over 100 studies and also looked for trends. Their conclusions? The same, that a low carbohydrate diet reduces triglycerides, and this bore out for every single analysis they performed across one to two years being on a low carb diet. Now that we've covered the actual data, let's discuss some of the science, the physiological explanation, mechanisms for the results. First, though, I put several months of work into this free content, so if you wouldn't mind subscribing or if you're already a subscriber, first off, well, thanks. And secondly, share or like the video, please. Thanks so much. Uh, the researchers from a series of studies pointed out a few possibilities, although surely there may be more. One, blood triglyceride levels decrease when they are cleaved to be stored in their carrier particle, like lipoproteins. 
In a previous video, I showed a consistent increase in high density lipoprotein levels with the low carb diet. So this would imply that the greater the cleavage of triglycerides by the enzyme lipoprotein lipase, the greater the need for packaging into these carrier particles like high density lipoproteins. This would have a twofold effect by reducing triglycerides and increasing HDL, both of which turn out to be true according to the data. Secondly, the packaging, as described before, can be done into different particles instead of high-density lipoproteins. For example, triglycerides can be packaged into chylomicrons, which are another particle coming from the intestines. As such, free triglycerides in circulation drops because, well, so much fat is being consumed in the diet, but is being sequestered into chylomicrons instead of other means of travel through the bloodstream. So if you want to reduce your blood triglyceride levels, it seems a low carbohydrate diet is an excellent way to reduce your triglycerides as the effect is anywhere from large to huge. I even saw a study where the participants cut their triglycerides by almost 50%. But usually triglycerides aren't elevated on their own. So if you're curious how it'll affect your, well, blood sugar levels, uh, check the link content. Oh, and things get a bit more complex for cholesterol, but that's linked for you too.